Greetings, Mewball Genius here, me and Connor again. A couple of days ago, I did something unusual. <laughs> Sounds wrong, doesn't it? No, I dropped into Facebook uh, into a discussion. I don't go on there a lot. I'm on there for the advertising and stuff and just to make sure that the group and stuff's going okay, but I don't spend a lot of time on there anymore. But uh, I dropped in on a, a discussion um, with a friend of mine who was... I, I can't remember what the discussion was about, but basically it, it meandered here and there and... It turned out, uh, it went down the route of talking about the high street and how online businesses, the internet, is a good thing and a bad thing. And one of the bad things is it's uh, killed local businesses. That's a load of bullshit, okay? I mean, well, let me be clear. If the internet has killed your business, it's because you haven't changed, you haven't overcome and adapted. Because, you know, the internet is, is neutral. It's not evil, it's not good. It is just, it's loosely, it's a connected bunch of fucking computers over which you can send data interactively. I mean, that's it. Um, how you use it is entirely up to you. It, it is value neutral in that respect. If somehow it's destroyed your business, it's because you haven't taken steps to stop it doing so. Online retailers like Amazon, Sports Direct and other places um, do not destroy your business. You destroy your business by not taking the correct action. Now, let, let's look at this. Okay, I mean, that, that might just sound like, um, I don't know, airy-fairy, positive thinking type bollocks. But let's break this down logically. If you're looking around any town, there will be local businesses which are thriving. Maybe in your niche, maybe not in your niche. But there will be local businesses which are thriving in the face of online competition. Because I don't think there's anything really for which there's not online competition. You, know, you don't have to be... There aren't many businesses where you have to be close to them these days to get their service or their products. You know, So if one business can do it, then that means other businesses can do it. It shows it's possible. Now that's not to say you can necessarily do it. And it doesn't actually suggest how you can do it, not even by modelling them necessarily. Because people who say, oh, if you models, model a business, um, you'll get the same success, because it's a lot more complicated than that. But the fact one business can do it shows it's possible. Well, that suggests it's possible you could do it too. No guarantees, but it's possible. Second thing is, one of the, the biggest problems with online retailers, and it always boils down to this, is price and convenience. Okay. Well, the convenience thing we can forget because people will pay a premium or rather people will, will take action and, and, and put up with inconvenience for, for the right value. Okay, I will go into a bike shop for the value I get, the pleasure I get in being sold a bike by knowledgeable people rather than buying online. So convenience is, is a, is a non-starter. It's, it's, it's not an argument at all. But low price is the pervasive one. That's the one people always worry about. I can't compete with Amazon, Sports Direct and other big online retailers or out of town stores. I can't compete on price. Well, you're right, you can't. But you shouldn't want to. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't need to. You're an idiot if you do. Okay. And low price is the real business killer. Not competition, low price. And if you are selling on price, if you're selling on low prices, you're a fucking idiot. And if you look around you, someone in your niche is the highest price seller of your products in your niche. Someone is. Now, is it you? If it's you, great. Keep putting your prices up. If it's not you, well, why not? Because clearly, clearly, it is possible to sell at higher prices in your niche than you're doing because some fucker's doing it already. What's wrong with these people? So, you know, the only thing that's stopping you selling at higher prices yourself and thus getting this leg up in the fight against Amazon and Sports Direct and proving to yourself low price is not what is important. Well, you're the only person stopping you from doing that. Here's what does not work. What does not work is sitting there, pissing and moaning, complaining about things and waiting for someone, usually government, to do something about it. Because they won't. Well, what they'll do is, government says something should be done. They'll just pick an arbitrary action and say, well, that's something, let's do it. They have no idea. They're not interested. They don't care. All they care about is re-election, as I've said before. So, you know, some, you've got to take action somehow. And the place to start is modelling other businesses, for sure. But don't don't just copy them blindly and think that's going to make a success of your business, because it might not. So we know where to start, and the place to start is with us at Ground Zero, because we're going to teach you how to do this stuff yourself. Now, low online prices and out-of-town stores, their prices and their convenience kill businesses only when the business owner is too lazy to do something about it. Too lazy or they've got learned helplessness and they just won't do anything about it. Not can't, but won't. Now, if you, if you doubt all of this, I invite you to Google the town of Wigtown in Scotland. 
Everyone said Amazon was killing book sales. Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and all the big second-hand bookstores were killing local bookstores. And the second, you know, the, the places online were killing local bookstores. Well, no, I mean, in my little town, Clonic Kilty, just down the way there, there are two thriving bookstores on the, on the main street. But never mind that. Look at Wig Town, as it what does what it says on the tin. Wig Town in Scotland. It's become a haven for booksellers and book lovers. You can actually fucking pay. Get this, you can pay to go on holiday in Wigtown and work in a bookshop selling books. You pay for the privilege of selling books. They have turned themselves into Scotland's book capital because they saw they, you know, they had, they had a competition from online retailers and they needed to save their high Well, that's what they did. Well, you could do the same kind of fucking thing. If they can do it, it shows what's possible. Okay, copying them might not work, but it shows it's possible. All you've got to do is engage this fucking thing. You were born with it. Use it for fuck's sake. Place to start, ground zero. If you want our help, ground zero. Because this is what we're going to do. We are going to take people like you. People who are willing to work, willing to learn, willing to roll their elbows up and delve deep into the bowels of their businesses and take on the retailers and not at their own game. Beat them in places they can't compete with, with style, with, with, with value, real value. The, the personal touch, that kind of thing. If you're not willing to do that, stay away because we can't, don't want to help. But if you are willing to think differently and act differently, behave differently, change yourself and your business before you expect things to change for you, we are the people to help you. Ground zero, start soon. And if you're with us, you're going to love it. If you're not, you'll be on the outside looking in thinking, what the fuck's happening? What are they doing? Why is my business shit? Why are they so happy? Whee! All right, links in the comments below. In the meantime, I think we're out of here. We out of here? We're out of here. See you later.